What's going on, my fishy friends? It's your buddy Mikey here. I'm in the garage, and I got my top lures of 2020 right here. But before we get into this special segment, I want to give a special thank you to you all. The viewers, the subscribers, all the people that are giving me love and support, and it's blowing my mind right now. Every time I go out on the water, I get recognized. Oh, Pete, I love your videos. I love watching it. Just yesterday I was out and I got recognized by four or five people. They were telling me, Jaden, Glenn, Shay, all these cool viewers. Thank you guys so much. It means the world. All the comments, the views, the subscribers, everything as I continue to build and grow the channel. So I just wanted to get that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the reason why this channel is successful and you're the reason why I do what I do. So I'm gonna keep doing what I do and you all will enjoy it with the videos. So they're gonna keep coming. Thank you all, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get into the segment now. What I got here on the workbench is my personal top five California saltwater fishing lures for inshore. Starting off right here, I got number five is the hookup bait. We got the hookup bait. They come in, as you can see, a variety of sizes and, uh, and colors. Starting off, we got the small red crab right here, a small purple one, and then I got the larger sizes here. I picked these mine up at Squid Co. They're around eight or nine dollars for the small ones, and then 15, for two pack of the bigger ones. And I think 20, they come in even a bigger size. But this is the biggest size that I use. So I've used these to catch a variety of fish. In the bays, I'll use the small ones and I'll catch spotted bay bass, calico bass, sand bass, get some halibut on it. Yeah, so the bays were will be really, really good for this. Then you move into the, uh, out in La Jolla in the kelp and Point Loma in the kelp, and you can use the larger ones for a lot of calico bass, sand bass. You might even get a white sea bass. I've gotten a white sea bass actually on the smaller one inside the bay. And then yellowtail possibility or halibut, bigger halibut outside the bay. So these are great for a variety of fish throughout San Diego. Then I've also used them in Northern California. Up in Monterey Bay, I've had success with blue ling cod up on the, the larger hookup bait on the rockfish up there, cabazon, I got cabazon on it last time. So I'm loving these hookup baits. Techniques that I'm using for this, okay? So I'll put these on the spinning reel and I'll use them inside the bay and I'll cast it out and I'll let it sink down. And a lot of times it's getting, it, this thing sinks so erratically that it's getting hit on the drop. And the, ba the bass, the spotted bay bass, and the calico and the sand bass are hitting this thing on the drop. If not, once it hits the bottom, then I'm, I'm working it off of the bottom. And then a lot of times they'll hit that, or you can almost drag it like that for the halibut. But you don't want to get caught in the grass or the weeds. So that's when I'm fishing them inside the bays for the spotted bay bass, the calico, and the sand bass, and the halibut. When I'm fishing them outside for the calico, for the halibut, for the, possibly the yellowtail or the white sea bass. And then I'm using the bigger ones here. This is a big red crab one that's been all shredded up. You can see how it starts to eat away the head over time. There's one that's been used for a while there. You can see the actual lead head on the inside of it. So I'm using this one right now. This was one that's been worked over. And then here's a newer one that hasn't been quite as worked. So when I'm working these out, in the La Jolla, in the kelp, and out in the Point Loma kelp, or even up in Monterey, I'm doing the same thing. I'm casting them all the way out, letting them hit the bottom. If they don't get hit on the fall, and then I'm working it and jerking it off the bottom. My favorite color is the, is the red crab. So for the base, for the kelp. Coming in at number four is the NorCal Special, the Deep Six Diver. This right here, is a is a salmon lure i got into salmon fishing in 2020 and this is how i started out to get my line and uh, and drop my line down the the deep six diver here made by lord jensen it's a it's an old school rig 
I got mine hooked up to a flasher and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna get into that. I'm gonna stick to just what this is all about right here, the deep six diver. So I got mine for, I think it was around $20 from Berkeley Marina when I first started chasing salmon last year in May time. And I got this, this size right here. This is the number one. So this is the number one deep six. This dives 40 feet down. It's a planar action. So what you got right here in the front, and then it pulls down through the water and you get your line down working it. The deep six does come in a variety of sizes and colors. I've seen guys with red ones, green ones. They're kind of more of a clear plastic with the coloring a tint to them. This is just what they had there. So it's what I got. I just got the standard silver shiny one. What I've found to be the number one is the most effective for trolling off the solo skiff. The rig and the setup that I'm using when I'm fishing this is I'm, I'm using a conventional lever drag reel here, like this Abbott that I got. My technique as for trolling this deep six diver right here, I'm using the conventional reel. I'm going about three miles an hour up against current. And I'm starting off, I'm tossing this into the water by hand, and then I'm pulling out line and judging how much line I have that way by number of pulls, but then also remembering that the the diver is going to be kicking out as it's planing and it's going down. It's also going to be coming out. So I got to judge that with how much line is coming out. But they're down at that depth wherever you're getting this down to. So this thing is usually when you're trolling at that speed, like I said, it all depends on the current of how it's coming at you, how fast you're going at it, how fast your trolling is going to drop this down and then maintain. If you're making turns and doing stuff like that, it's harder to maintain this depth. So that's why I'm gonna get into the outrigger. But for last year, to me, this was the most simple, straightforward setup to start out with salmon fishing. For me personally, successful in nailing a salmon in May, right before my birthday. And I got myself a nice uh, 20 pound salmon from Shelter Cove up there. And then I hooked up again in Shelter Cove and it popped off. And then I asked people, they said, oh, you were horsing it in too quick, too quick. So then the next, next time when I hooked up in Bolinas, I dragged the thing around and I lost it there. So I hooked up three times last year on salmon on the deep six diver. I landed one of those fish. I'm, I'm, I want to get better this year. Hopefully I get better. I'm going to use the downrigger, but this is coming in at number four right here for salmon the deep six diver. Okay, number three, moving on. Here we got number three is the one and only Shimano Colt Sniper. Pow, pow. This is a newer lure, but it's becoming a classic because so many people have caught so many fish off of this lure. I mean, I used it before I started using this on the solo skiff. I was using it on the Ocean Odyssey on the charter boat. And one time I caught two yellow fin on one cast. I hooked one with the hooks and the other one got wrapped in the line by the tail. And I reeled in and I got two yellow fin in one cast. So that was crazy. That was wild. And this is the Colt Sniper. So the Colt Sniper, it comes in a variety of colors and sizes. I have a purple 100 gram right here. The purple is my favorite. I like 100, I like it heavier. Some guys like it lighter. Uh, 80 grams of a really popular one, but this is a hundred gram uh, purple Colt Sniper is the model that I'm working with right here. You can pick up these these lures here at any place that's that sells Shimano lures. You can get them online or you can get them at your local tackle shop. I get mine at, at Dana Landing or at Angler's Choice. Those are two options I have here in San Diego and they're about $10. The type of setup that I'm using to fish these with is when I was using, you can use a bait caster. Like I've got my tranks right here, but I'm not able to get this thing fixed because of parts and pieces and COVID and everything like that. So I was using these with the bait casters on a jig stick when you're casting them out. But now I've switched to, uh, this is what I'll put it on now. I got my Seagate 40 on my Daiwa Proteus rod. This is a medium heavy, uh, fast action rod trigger grip right here. I like having the trigger grip. And then this is a conventional reel, just star drag that, that I got it on right there. I'm using this in 
the kelp beds out in La Jolla, and then also down in the Coronados for yellowtail down in the Coronado Islands and, and any sort of yellowtail under bird action or something like that. And then also white sea bass in La Jolla kelp. I was catching some white sea bass on the Colt Sniper last year in La Jolla kelp. Got some yellowtail last year on it, ton of calico, uh, bonito, you get those. And then uh, rockfish also, get some rockfish on this. You can get some link cod on it too. The action when I'm using this, there's a couple different ways that you can go about it. In the, in the Nine Mile Bank video back in May of last year, when the birds blew up underneath the birds and I see the boils coming through, then you're just casting that out. And a lot of time th this action on the flutter on the downward, then the action on the flutter is actually getting it is when they hit it. But I want to get into something else that made me think of is that I always switch out the hooks on the Colt Sniper. So they, they make a smaller treble hook that they that they come with. I, sw I was doing an assist hook, a two, two single hooks before like a flat fall has like this. I was putting assist hooks onto the Colt Sniper, but now I'm putting a, a larger, nicer treble hook. I like having the treble hook. Like I was saying, there's a couple ways you can fish this by casting it into the birds as far as you can and then reeling kind of slow and they'll hit it on the reel back or a lot of times they'll hit it on the drop. So, and then you can straight yo-yo it down. If you wanted, that's what I was doing with the white sea bass is just dro letting it drop down and then they were hitting it on the flutter down and I and I was just sitting right on top of all the fish instead of rolling up to birds, throwing out the birds, I was just sitting on top of marks and I could mark the white sea bass under me and then just dropping it down and catching some white sea. They were all short, I didn't get any keepers. I got broke off by a keeper on live bait later that night, but that's a different story. Okay, moving along right here. Number two lure on the list, you got the Shimano flat fall. Boom, my personal favorite, the glow in the dark version right here. It's got a little bit of the neon color green and the eyeball and the white. 160 gram, 5.6 ounce. You can get the flat falls at any uh, local tackle shop that sells Shimano uh, lures. I get mine at Dana Landing or Angler's Choice, those are two local spots that sell Shimano here in San Diego. The type of rig that we're fishing the flat fall with is currently, like I've, I've used a bait caster before. You can use a bait caster like a Tranks or something like that and throw it with that. But my Tranks is fried out. So right now I'm using this Daiwa Seagate. It's a star drag conventional reel on the Daiwa Proteus rod so the same thing holds true as with the colt sniper you're going to be fishing these this type of allure more out in the open water in the kelp beds of la jolla or out at the coronado islands something like that uh, maybe in in point loma and you're going to be throwing it towards birds some sort of life that you see there surface boils or you're going to be dropping it down on structure or marks that you see down below also used it up in Northern California in in Shelter Cove and I've caught a bunch of link caught with this too. This flat fall is very effective lure because of the flutter on the way down. You don't have to switch out the hooks on this one. You just leave these assist hooks on it and you you can cast it out like I was saying and then and then retrieve it and it will get hit on the fall or on the retrieve or you can also just straight drop it down on the structure. That's how I like to use this a lot of the time is for rockfish. And then while I was rock fishing last year in March, as you see in the video, I got myself a nice big, my personal best halibut, 25 pound halibut using this where I'll tip the, the hooks with a squid or with a shrimp or a piece of bait. And I'll drop that down to the bottom and then I'll just, I'll, I'll put it in free spool and I'll drop it all the way to the bottom, let it hit the bottom, feel it, put it in gear pull it up off of the bottom and suspend it just off of the bottom and then boom the halibut will hit it and here we go with fights on let's get some <laughs> let's go so this is an awesome awesome lure here uh, like i was saying i use it off of the solo skiff out at the kelp beds you know out in deeper waters at the coronado islands out at, at places like that or up in northern california for rockfish down on the bottom so i've caught 
everything from got some yellowtail at the Coronado Islands on this lure before. I've caught rockfish. I've caught ling cod. Uh, I've caught bonito, calico. Caught a little of everything on the flat fall. This is my number two lure right here is the Shimano flat fall. Loving it. All right, drum roll please. Coming in at number one, you all guessed it, is the Nomad DTX Minnow 140. This is the lure right here. You, you can barely read the lettering that's on it anymore. Switched out the hooks multiple times, but this is the money lure. This is Mikey's number one for 2020. This is the lure that, this is the exact lure that blew me up. And wow, some amazing, amazing memories off of this lure. Made by Nomad Tackle Design, these DTX Minnow lures right here come in a variety of colors and sizes this uh is the 140 size the 5.5 inch long and it dives eight meters deep which is about 24 25 uh, feet so the the thing that is most affected that i found i believe with this lure is that it's not just diving down and working like this but it's got this side to side action i believe that's the auto tune but it, as it's swimming it's it's got this crazy crazy action and the fish just cannot resist this so i troll this thing non-stop out in the inshore areas and some of the offshore banks uh looking for tuna because i know i can get a tuna off this thing but i've had success in the inshore areas with i got five yellowtail on this last year in the winter time up until the fall time i got yellowtail calico white sea bass bonito i got a little bit of everything on this so this is my number one lure the nomad dtx minnow 140 coming at you i got mine uh this was a while of my i've had this thing for over a year now and as you can see it's just completely eaten away and just been smashed so many different times i got it originally from angler's choice they run about 25 dollars so it's expensive lure but and then you i've switched out the hooks because they go they go rusty over time you'll start to lose fish so you want to make sure you keep nice sharp hooks going on it and yeah so that's you can get it at any tackle shop that sells the Nomad Lures, which is uh, Dana Landing and Angler's Choice are two of the spots that I know here in San Diego. And this is just super, super effective trolling lure uh, here that I've used in San Diego from the Solo Skiff. Okay, so check it out. You can really see I have a, a brand new one right here versus the old one. You can see how much, how eaten away the old one is crazy crazy how many fish have hit in this when i'm trolling one of these nomads because that's what you use this is is for trolling uh it's a trolling lure and i'm using a conventional reel right here i like to troll these right uh around four miles an hour between three and five but i found to be four is the money zone and yeah it's swimming down and it's got that side to side action as it's jiggling also from this number one lure i caught Five yellowtail, a white sea bass, so many calico, so many bonito. It was a crazy, crazy year fishing this this Nomad DTX minnow lure. And this is Mikey's number one lure for the solo skiff right now. California in, inshore saltwater fishing lure. Number one right here, Mikey's choice. Mikey's personal favorite. So you can get it in my link in my description. It's got the link for this is the Nomad DTX Minnow 140. Check it out. It wins it as number one. So I'm going to be signing off here. But just remember, keep progressing, keep dreaming, keep living, keep loving. I love you all. Thank you for watching the channel. SD Fish and Sips signing off.